Well, hello there, my name's Vinny Voodoo, and rumour has it tomorrow, the 12th of February, Warzone 2 will be announced alongside Modern Warfare 2. Now, whether that means they're going to be released at the same time, time will tell. But if true, it does seem that we'll have a new Warzone client, completely standalone Warzone game by the end of the year. And this is a game that will only run on current gen systems. Now, some of my viewers and subscribers have suggested that they imagine Warzone Pacific in Caldera to run concurrently with the new Warzone 2. And I can maybe see that, but if it is just straight onto Warzone 2, shut down the old servers, it does mean that you'll lose all of the cosmetics that you've ever bought for this game because they've said it will. I mean, it's gonna be a new gen game they're not going to use old assets from last gen systems um that's the theory anyway uh it certainly will be interesting to see what happens with that and of course in three days time we have uh season two of warzone and uh, there's a lot of videos out there that cover all of this my biggest fear is how relevant it is to plunder we've just gone back from vanguard plunder back to ordinary plunder trios there and uh, i don't see how relevant things like the gas bullets are in plunder because there's no gas masks in plunder so unless they're going to add that if you get downed your buddies can't revive you without dying themselves and plus there's no real negative to dying in plunder except you lose some money you lose a third of your money or whatever it is uh, there's been several occasions where i've just put a mine at my feet and shot it so i could fly in somewhere else effectively creating my own redeployment um, and then of course you've got that truck that's driving around that might be fun uh, if it's anything like the Black Ops Zombies truck that you used to follow and it'd stop occasionally and all the zombies would come out. You see, that's what I miss. Uh, there was a ship that crashed onto the side of a dance there and you could set off zombies and you could actually s sort of say to your fellow enemies there, fellow players, uh, you know, let's, ne let's not shoot each other, let's shoot the zombies and then shoot each other. It was a sort of community event, a bit like Destiny. Uh, I don't see anything like that in season two you've got the bombing run don't know how relevant that's going to be in plunder and uh the new points of interest again the, the gas related stuff uh, i'm glad they're adding stuff but what i'd rather is they fixed the lag i was just trying to play a game and it was the worst laggiest game that i've ever played and here's a little thing for you if you go to your options interface and down the bottom here where it says in-game I alert icons you can set advanced and you can actually disable or enable them but it also explains what these are and you can see them on the right there and probably the one you see the most is number three followed by number one and if they're orange it's bad and if they're red everything's sort of failed and that's all I'm seeing is three basically permanently on. I did release a video on how to alleviate client side lag which is lag that you create for a variety of reasons such as having Wi-Fi rather than a hard line from your router to your console, uh, but that's really a, a band-aid. Uh, the rest is a fart in a hurricane, because unless Activision fix their service, there's really nothing we can do about it. Uh, and given that Activision's about to inherit $70 billion, and in the last quarter, Activision posted a profit of 5.1 billion, that's a profit, not a revenue turnover. I think they've got enough money to add maybe one or two new servers to this game and it's not me i'm getting 50 down four up 35 m millisecond ping not the best but certainly not enough to uh explain the terrible terrible lag that's currently in this game and there's bugs in it the daily challenges still aren't working properly and uh there's little things like in plunder they've currently got the amount to limit to two million but when it gets there it actually says on screen one million um, that means that 1 million is hard coded rather than a variable and if you're a programmer you know exactly what that is. It should never have been hard coded allowing them the freedom to change that to 3 million or half a million and then the text would change accordingly. Uh, yes, yeah, so anyway, we've got quite a lot going on with the announcement tomorrow, and if there is one, I will post an update then. And then, of course, we've got Season 2, which could be brilliant, could come with a whole bunch of bug fixes. It is going to be a big patch, 47 gig reportedly on the PS4, and it increases the game size ultimately by 10 gig. That's a lot of new content. So we'll see what happens then. So look out for an update as and when I know something, and it just leads me to say, brief announcement from me. My name's Vinny Voodoo. And thanks for watching.